Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. What is up, peoples? Hold on, what's up? and love and blessings and happiness and all that good shit to all you guys you heard what up frederick coffee ali is watching derek salute to you guys man salute peace and love i hope everything is going well for y'all i hope everything is looking good prosperous you know i'm, I'm gonna chop it up on some real shit today. and and this topic may ruffle some pheasants but I don't care it is what it is Facebook changed a lot of stuff what up Jerron what's happening yeah, this is weird. but yeah so the topic is why A students work for C students working for C students. Can any of you guys answer that question? Why do you guys think, what up Kelvin? Salute to you brother, salute on the Black Sun comics. I see you doing big things out there in Canada. Salute to you, boom, boom. Know what I mean? Paula Rowe, welcome, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Tiger Toledo broadcast. Coming live in effect in Chicago, Illinois. Clapping at these suckers. But let me ask you guys a question. Why do you think so many A students are working for C students right now? These guys that were getting the top honors, valedictorian, all of these great accolades. Why do you think they are working for C students that didn't do so well? These were the kids that were playing hooky, me, I was one of them. What up, Rod Jones? I was one of them kids playing hooky and, and not getting the best grades. You know what I mean? Look, man, I am not the smartest person in the room. I'm going to let you know early. Corey, what up? I am not the smartest person in the room. Why do you think so many A students are working for C students right now? That is correct. That is correct, Kelvin. A students are so systematic that they follow the rules so much. It's rigorous. It's like there's no room for uh, improvement. There's no room for life to, to insert itself. They go by a rigorous system. They say this system has been around for X amount of years. Do not shake it up. Let it do what it do. Let's follow this course. And then somebody else, like a C student, a D student, even a, a, a high school dropout would just come out of nowhere and shake things up. All these disruptors that you're hearing about, these people that are disrupting the industry, a lot of them are C students. These are kids. What up, Derek? Uh, what up, Dwayne? What up, fam? Salute to you, brother. Um, look. I am what they called a super senior, a super senior, meaning I graduated high school and I'm not embarrassed to say it. I graduated high school at the age of 20. I, I dropped out of high school. You know what I mean? To t help take care of my mom. I didn't graduate high school until I was 20 years old. I graduated in Roberto Clemente in Chicago at 20 years old. Super senior, super duper senior. You know what I mean? I got left back in third grade because my English wasn't good. English is my second language, not my first language. It's my second language. So I had a problem differentiating the two. So I got left back. Do you know how that feels to be left back in school? You are taller than your classmates. Now, I'm six foot three. 
I'm taller than my classmates. So I'm repeating the third grade. I'm seeing all of my friends go to fourth grade and I'm stuck in third grade. That shit crushed me, yo. It crushed me to be left back like that, but it gave me a valuable lesson because my writing and my English wasn't good. So it forced me to perfect my English and my writing skills. You know what I'm saying? It forced me. So I struggled through school all my life. I've always struggled through school. Whatever whatever the case is, what, however you look at it. I left back in third grade, went through uh, junior high school. I was good there. High school, I dropped out, went back to school, wind up graduating at the age of 20 years old with a high school diploma. But you know the great thing about that is that on my high school diploma, it does not say how many years it took me to graduate. It did not take... It did not say how many years it took me to graduate and get my high school diploma. Persistence. I kept, I kept shooting, right? I kept shooting. That is some of the key things that you guys need to know. What up, Kelly? That is some of the uh, key things you guys need to know about building a business. You have to be persistent. You have to be Even when people are beating you down, teasing me, damn, you got, you got, you know, left back in the third grade. Yeah, I did. Yep. You graduated at the age of 20. Yep. Super, super duper senior. Yeah, that was me. So I had to learn as a C student. I had to learn things as, hey, I'm not the brightest in my class. Some of this curriculum stuff, I don't get it. But what the things that I do get, I can work hard on it and perfect it. So I don't work on my weaknesses. Contrary to what you guys read in books and stuff, I do not work on my weaknesses. I work on my strengths to make them even stronger. And then I'll go hire somebody that can do my weakness. Somebody that is, you know, well Aptitude and, and whatever they're doing. I'll go fucking hire them. But I want you guys to know, you're going to get knocked down in this life, man. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You're going to get knocked on your ass in life. Family members ain't going to root for you. They're going to be too busy to even care about your dreams, care about your entrepreneurial, you know, endeavors. Just know that Tiger Toledo is rooting for you. I know we need to hear that sometimes. As an entrepreneur, we do not hear. When you're on the top of the food chain, nobody's saying, great job. Unless there's another entrepreneur that wants to do business with you. Hey, I've been seeing what you've been doing. That's a great job. I'd like to do business with you. But other than that, you never hear it. You never hear you're doing a great job. Here's an award. Here's a bonus. That's, that's some of the things that other employer, employers use to get you to stay with the company longer. They get you to stay with the company longer because they're giving you awards. They're sending you on trips. Right? So, I dropped out, went back to school. I was playing hooky left and right because school wasn't for me. I was like, man, I'm looking for... So I'm in the streets a lot. I never got heavy in the in the whole street gang, uh, you know, drug game or anything like that. But I learned the ways of the street. I learned how to observe people. I learned how to negotiate and persuade and do all of this stuff. You know, I when you're when you don't have much, right? When you don't have much, you better use the talents that you have to be successful at it, right? Cats that had nice cars, Lexus, things like that. I was pulling the same chicks on a bike. And a lot of you guys have that too. A lot of you guys think that you need to have this. You need to have that in order to be successful. That's bull. That's BS. 
That's BS. You don't need all this extravagant stuff to be successful. When people look in your eyes and they see the conviction and they see how serious you are and they say, this person's going somewhere, they're going to do it with or without me. That person's going to do business with you. Facts. And if they don't, that's their loss. That's their loss. Right? Ford, motor cars. That dude didn't even have a, 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 a high school education. Today, we're driving Ford vehicles. You know what I mean? He didn't even have a sixth grade education. And he was able to build the one of the biggest auto manufacturing companies in the world. What excuse are you using? Peace.